Okay, we're on. I'm here at the Tulare County Farm Bureau Board, and uh, after a social event, one of our candidates for supervisor is going to speak. Introduce yourself. My name is Brian Rao. I'm running for Tulare County Supervisor in the Fourth District. And uh, how did you come to be a speaker at the Farm Bureau Board? Well, they invited me and asked me to come. I, I was talking to, to John uh, Dolschlager one day, and he, he asked me to come out, and I was talking to, to Tricia Stevers, and, and she asked me to come out as well. Well, it's a common expression for farmers. If it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So what's broken? How do you want to fix it? <laughs> yeah, it, actually the expression is, is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't don't is a little 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 fancy for our blood around here, Larry. But but you know there there is a, a lot broke. What I'll be focusing on tonight is the Williamson Act, and 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 the incumbent has voted to to begin con the consideration of the cancellation process for the Williamson Act. I'll also be focused on the general plan and the lack of a dairy element in the general plan and the way that affects our economic base. And. Uh for non-farmers, why should non-farmers in the district? Why should they vote for you given these positions? Well, look, uh, I was talking to Ed Dina, who has a car shop in, in a, 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 you know, he sells GM cars in, in Dinuba, and one of his biggest customers are people who I, either have dairies or work at dairies, either have citrus or, or work on a citrus citrus uh, ranch, and 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 so the reality is 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 our economic base in Tulare County is ag. And, uh, and, and, and of the ag receipt, the biggest tax receipt comes out of the dairy industry. And so whether you, you own a dairy or, or own a shoe shop, your income is, is one way or another being affected by, by the health and, and vitality of those industries. And, and I, I think it, it only makes uh, good sense to, to really support and protect those industries. It's the future of this county. Uh, any final comments for the listeners? You know, Larry Stoneburner is a great man, and make sure you tune into KTIP as often as possible. Uh, you can't buy my vote, Brian. <laughs> we're, in the, we're, we're in the business of having having educated I, I, voters. I, I guess the last thing I would say is uh, I, I feel fortunate. I, I'm not out to buy votes. Uh, I'm a fiscal conservative, and I wouldn't waste my money on you. Oh, okay, you got to spell your first and last name. First name is Brian, spelled B-R-I-A-N. Last name is spelled Rao, R-O-U-C-H. My website is brianrao.com. And uh, as a sixth generation Tulare County guy, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited to be in this race. And things are going great. We're ahead uh, by every measurement. We've raised more money. We've, we've knocked on more doors. And we have more yes votes. So things are looking good. Reporting for the Tulare County Farm Bureau Board on tax day, we all seem to remember. And that's news first. And back to you in the studio.